Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Colonel's Bequest. In the last episode, we found a pile of dead bodies. It's just your normal everyday thing when you're an adventurer, but I don't think Laura is an adventurer. I think we should go see if we can let Henri know about this. We have a good idea of who it was. It was a squirrel. I know it was you, squirrel. I mean, it still could be... Uh... Uh... Look... Case. Uh-oh. Somebody... Someone broke the case and took the silver derringer. I assume that this is supposed to be an uh-oh, as opposed to oh-oh. Which is how I would read it. I don't know why they went with that. It's odd. But, uh... Hmm. I think someone's about to get shot. It's not good. Well. Colonel. Colonel, are you in here? No, it's just an empty closet. Rudy, what are you doing in here? Uh, excuse me. Talk to Rudy. Beat it, kid. This ain't none of your business. Did you hear me? If you know what's good for you, you'll leave me alone right now. Rudy ignores you as he continues his seemingly futile searching. What are you looking for? This is my room. Would you get away from my bed? Tell Rudy about bodies. Leave me alone. I'm busy right now. I already found the bodies if that's what you're looking for. Well, he got, got gone fast. In here? Uh-oh. See, now it has uh-oh. A bad feeling comes over you as you look around this room. The small desk chair has been knocked over and you see fresh blood stains on the rug. Oh, maybe I should have come in here a little earlier. Look, blood. You see fresh blood stain, uh, a fresh blood stain on the rug near the overturned chair. Look, book. Act 7. 8, sorry. Time's really moving fast now, isn't it? Oops. You notice that just one page has been written on, and today's date, May 27th, 1925, heads it. Curiously, you read the rest. It says... I'm terribly apprehensive about what's going on here. I can't say why. Just call it a bad sensation. But as the evening wears on, I'm feeling more and more alone. Where's Wilbur? Where's Gertie? Where's Gloria? Could they have left without me? Is there a way to leave this the island that I'm not aware of? Still, the spine-tingling feeling won't leave. And frankly, I'm scared. Yet yeah, maybe you should have listened to me. Watch out! Okay, I did not know that you could fall down there. I knew you could fall down the other one, not that one. Good to know. Where did I last save it? Yeah, right there. Alright. All right, we need to, uh... Do this. Tell about bodies.
Okay. So we've seen that. Advanced time. Can we examine blood stain with monocle? Not really. Read book. So Act 8 has now started. At least now we get to hear the uh, chiming of the clock. And there's only two chimes. Alright. Once again, if only people would actually listen to me. Let's save it before we go downstairs again. <laughs> Unless we have the same uh, accident. You gotta be on just the right spot. Uh, hey, 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 puppy. Beauregard seems agitated about something. Maybe you should investigate. Look at door. What's this? A note has been attached to the door knocker. Re, uh... Take note. Why don't you read it first? No, I want to take it first. Read note. You read the note. It says, meet me in the hedge garden. Oh no, a sudden gust of wind blows away the note. What is it, puppy? Pet dog. Beauregard doesn't look like he's in a good mood. I'm not sure what you're trying to tell me. Or are you trying to tell me that Timmy's down the well? I meet you in the garden, it said, huh? Oh dear. Oh no, someone has shot Lily into death in the hedge garden. Quite afraid now, you fear greatly for your own life. Because clearly you didn't fear greatly for your own life after, uh, you know, someone stabbed you in the shower and I reloaded. And, and then, of course, you found all the other bodies. Also, Lillian is wearing something odd. Look, Lillian. You can tell by looking at her that Lillian died of a gunshot wound to the chest at point-blank range. Huh, this is strange. For some reason, Lillian is dressed in an old army officer's cape, hat, gloves, and boots. You're not close enough. Seriously, game? With trembling hands, you examine Lillian's body and see the horrible gunshot wound to her chest area. What's this? You suddenly find a skeleton key in a pocket of the old army cape. Since it may be useful, you take it with you. Look ground. On you notice a silver derringer lying on the ground near Lillian's feet. Well, someone's out here doing some killing. As you stoop to pick up the derringer, your eye happens to fall upon a bullet not not far from Lillian's hand. Take bullet. Okay. All right. Uh, let's uh, take a look. There's a derringer. There's a bullet. There's a skeleton key. So Lillian is definitely the person that we saw wandering around in the hat. Hmm. But someone got to her first. Well, I think we have solved all of the murders. You still here, puppy? 
Yeah, puppy's still here. You hear scuffling upstairs. We should probably save it again. You hear scuffling further upstairs. It's just an empty closet. I don't know if you can die there. Use shower. Take shower. You have no time to do that now. Well, wait a second. Look ground. Someone has left the doctor's bag open on the floor. Look in bag. You're not close enough. The contents are a mess inside. It looks as if someone has hurriedly searched through it. But search through it for what? Hmm. Alright. Don't think there's anything we can do with that uh, bag, other than look at it. Which I think was important. That might be the uh, source of those pills. Nope, no one in here. Use skeleton key on door. Using the skeleton key, you unlock the attic door. Alright, open door. Oh no! Colonel Dijon and Rudy are in the midst of a fierce struggle. You see a hypodermic needle between them and it's impossible to tell which of the two men is the aggressor. This is indeed a ter dangerous situation. Oh, I'm sure it'll resolve itself. Mew, that was close. I want you to know that I acted strictly in self-defense. That old coot lured me up here, and when I wasn't looking, he tried to stick me with a hypodermic. I hate to think what was in it, but i it must have been awful bad. Look at what it did to Uncle Henri. He tried to do me do to me what he did to the others. I found out that my uncle lured us all here so he could kill us. He never had any intention of leaving his money to any of us at all. He only wanted to get rid of us. He's been sneaking around here all night. And one by one, he's been murdering everyone. I think that was not the case. He had us all fooled, let me tell you. He was in a lot better shape than we all thought. Well, it's a shame about everyone else, but at least you and I are still alive. I'm sure this night's been a real traumatic for you. You go on home in the morning and I'll stay here a couple more days to tend to things. If you will, I'd like you to contact the authorities in New Orleans and let them know what happened here tonight. The next morning... Well, sure. It's a good thing we, uh... We, uh, solved the mystery, huh? Thanks for taking us back, Jesse. Uh, my, my name's not Jesse. But your boat says Jesse. Well, yes, the boat's name is Jesse. My name's Joe. Later that same day... As you near the wharf at New Orleans, you consider last night's events. Was Rudy telling you the truth, or could there be more to the story? Oh well, you'll probably never know. Best to forget it and go on with your life. Maybe the police will find the answers. Poor Lillian. Poor everybody. The end. Well, maybe there's... Maybe there is another answer. But what really happened was, uh... Let's go ahead and load the Derringer. Okay. Open door. Right. Unlock door. Open door. Shh. 
shoot Rudy. What do you have to say, Colonel? You have shot and wounded Rudy. Uh, thank you, young lady, uh, Laura. It was some mighty fine shooting for a gal. I guess I owe you my life, don't I? Why, my nephew was trying to kill me with, po with, the, with poison and one of Wilbur's hypodermic needles. Well, this definitely seems happier music. Uh, it's terrible what's been happening here tonight. I invite everyone here to tell them about my will, and they end up killing each other over it. Yeah, maybe you should have thought of that, and uh, maybe you should have listened to me. Truthfully, I was keeping my eye on everyone in the house tonight, so I thought. I didn't see any of the murders. It wasn't until I met Rudy in my bedroom that he told me what had happened. I couldn't believe it. He told me that my niece Lillian had finally gone totally berserk and out of a crazy jealousy was killing everyone here that she thought had gotten between her and me. She managed to just about murder everyone until she attacked Rudy with my derringer. Rudy managed to wrestle the gun from her and in self-defense killed her instead. My nephew, seeing as how everyone else was already dead, decided to finish the job by killing me with a hypodermic needle and say I died of a heart attack induced by the terrible deeds that my niece had done. Can't stand much more of this. Laura, please find Celia and tell her to fire one of the signal rockets that we use to summon help in emergencies. Ooh, fireworks! The next morning... I somehow knew that one day Rudy would run afoul of the law. You've been a loyal servant to me for many years, Seely, and both Beauregard and Blaze trust you. I've decided to leave all my money to you, provided you take care of my animals for the rest of their lives. <laughs> they probably don't have as much life left in them as he does. Of course, sir. I can't think of nothing else I'd rather do. Thank you, sir. Miss Bo, I know you found an old Civil War treasure on my estate. Since you so bravely saved my life, I'll let you keep every dime of it for yourself, as a reward. M maybe we should give it to the old slaves? Nope, nope, it's yours. Thank you, Colonel Dijon. That's very kind of you. You know, Beauregard, people are funny creatures. They're greedy, they're rude, they're selfish. That's why we live way out here, to get away from them. But we couldn't get away from them completely, could we, boy? No, not completely. But everything will be okay now. Now that my entire family is dead. The end. And Laura gets to keep the fruits of slavery for herself. Isn't that just fantastic? Yes, I'm a super sleuth. Barely conscious, absent-minded, amateur gumshoe, seasoned P.I., super sleuth. It might have been able to go a little bit higher. I'm not sure if it if it can break the top there, but it doesn't matter because I got super sleuth on the sleuthometer. Would you like to review your notes? Yes, I would. Tulane, Lorabo. Let's go ahead and open it. Person befriended, Seely. Took food item from kitchen, Seely's cabin, Jeeves's room. Took useful item from body of Lillian, Clarence Sparrow, Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. People found murdered. Lillian, Ethel Prune, Gertie Dijon, Gloria Swansong, Clarence Sparrow, Dr. Wilbur C. Fields, Jeeves, Fifi. Found secret entrance exit in Dining room, downstairs hallway, upstairs hallway, billiard room, hedge garden, basement, library, parlor, Clarence's and Rudy's room, Gertie's and Gloria's room, my room, the Colonel's room. Objects used more than once, crackers, crowbar, diary, oil can, monocle. Took objects from suitcase of Lillian. Valuable objects taken, pouch of jewels. Mm, so good to take the proceeds of slavery for ourselves. And not give it to the people who actually uh, did all the work necessary that earned that cash. Religious articles discovered. Bible. 
Items requiring close scrutiny, boot print in mud, sleeping powder bottle, handkerchief, rolling pin, fireplace poker, broken record, glass, cognac decanter, diary, cigarette butt. People with gambling habits, Rudy Dijon, Clarence Sparrow, Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. People guilty of embezzlement, Clarence Sparrow, Dr. Wilbur C. Fields. People with a telltale scent, Colonel Dijon, Lillian, Clarence Sparrow, Fifi. Fifi had a telltale scent? Person refusing to sell something, Ethel Prune. People romantically involved, Colonel Dijon, Gloria Swansong, Clarence Sparrow, Jeeves, Fifi. I don't know if we ever find out what Gloria Swansong's uh, medical thing was that uh, would have gotten her in trouble in Hollywood. People wishing to end an affair, Gloria Swansong. Has embarrassing medical history, Gloria Swansong. Objects with changed location, Derringer, Dagger, Cognac Decanter, Doctor's Bag. Ultimate location of most bodies, Basement. People who struggled physically, Colonel Dijon, Rudy Dijon, Clarence Sparrow, Fifi. Not Gertrude? People with surprising secret, Colonel Dijon. People who use secret passages, Colonel Dijon and Lillian. One who murdered the most people, Lillian. Time of first visit, visit to Attic, 945. And that's it. All right, let's close our notebook. And that is the end of the Colonel's Bequest. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. Um, it's definitely one of the more interestingly uh, handled adventure games from Sierra. Uh, I like the, uh, you know, the hidden point system, essentially, that uh, um, obviously, you know, playing with a walkthrough uh, that There's no, you know, you know, it doesn't matter. I was, e you know, easily able to get the, uh, um, the maximum score essentially and everything like that. But, you know, buying it new, there's all kinds of different ways that you'd advance a story, and you know, you really would want to take notes as you're going, um, for for replayability purpose. I think that that as these games go, this is one of the more replayable ones because. Other than the deaths, which you just reload from as long as you've been keeping multiple saves, you're going to get to the end of the game. You know, you'll stumble in on the uh, the things that advance time, and there are certain ones that will advance time a lot faster. And if you're paying attention, you'll notice, oh, this one advanced time by 45 minutes rather than 15 minutes. Uh, I missed something. Um, and it really does make it replayable. Uh, on the other hand, uh, once you've seen a lot of the things, you know, it does make it really quick and easy. It's like, you know, walk into the room, there she is sleeping, come back in immediately to see that she's dead, she's been uh, thrown out the window kind of thing. And it does make for a little bit of a, a wonkiness, but um, on the other hand, like, there is an explanation for that. Uh, you, you left the room, uh, Lillian came in through the secret passage, seeing you leave, uh, killed Gertie, threw her out the window, and then was walking along the outside of the house. Not that you could do that. So, most of those do have explanations. The fact that you don't hear anything does make it a little bit wonky. Uh, they really should have set it up so that you had to go, like, two screens away at least to, um, you know, for that to happen. But, uh, I don't know if it's a, an engine limitation thing or, or not. But I, I do really uh, like the game. I think that they did a really good job with it. The artwork for an EGA game is fantastic. Uh, probably... Not sure that I'd say that this one is peak EGA for Sierra. Uh, I think that that might go to uh, the Quest for Glory, you know, 1 and 2. But it's certainly close, and it's up there with those. Um... I definitely appreciated everything that they did. The, the artwork was really nice. It was very atmospheric. The Roland audio, getting the uh, the occasional thunderclap and stuff like that. Uh, I, I think it was really nice. Um, also, extra points for including Bolero. 
Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, eventually, we will return to Laura Bow, uh, Laura Bow, with uh, the dagger of Amon Ra. Amon, uh, Amon Ra. It's gonna throw me because I'm not exactly sure on on its pronouncement. And there's multiple like so. I'll get into that more when when that comes up. But that it. Uh, I'm more used to the name being spelled Amon, as opposed to Amon. Uh. It's the more common spelling, but both are technically correct in that, you know, we don't know the uh, vowels of Egyptian. We'll deal with all of that when we get to that game. Uh, but I do find it um, an amusing coincidence that a new Lorabo adventure game was announced when I started playing this one. Um, or just before I started playing it. So... It, it, it does feel uh, amusing and interesting. And I would have liked that this one got a VGA remake. I think that this one would have been um, done a good job with uh, the VGA engine and the improved graphics. It's kind of a shame it didn't. But uh, definitely looking forward to the Dagger of Amon Ra at some point. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play. See you then, everyone. <laughs>